I haven't been to the dentist in a couple years because we relocated to a, you know, a new city and just kind of on the go all the time and not really paying much attention to my body and my health. My wife was complaining that I had bad breath and my teeth were kind of coloring. So I figured it was time to get back on track and start getting those that, that stuff done. As a dental hygienist, we are kind of the first people that get in there and start the detective work with a patient. We look for changes in color. We look for changes in buildup. When the hygienist was doing the oral examination, she just said, so how long have you been diabetic? And I kind of looked at her kind of cross and I said, well, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not diabetic. And she goes, hmm. The doctor came in and they he was looking at her as well too. And at that time told me, he says, you should probably um, schedule an appointment with your primary care physician. Although I wasn't the dentist that detected Jeff's diabetes, it's not uncommon for dentists to detect or diagnose systemic conditions like this. When we do an exam, we don't just look at the teeth, we look at everything. We look at the tongue, the cheeks, the palate, soft palate, and the throat, the uh, gingiva, we look at the lips. Looking at these, you can find the lumps or bumps any uh, change in color, uh, halitosis, any bad breath, and I have referred those to medical doctors for follow-up or biopsy. After that initial dental visit, I thought about it a little bit and decided that, yeah, it was in my best interest to, to go get things checked out. One of the things the doctor ordered was an A1C test, which measures my blood sugar levels. When the doctor came back in the room and had the results, um, he said my A1C was off the charts which confirming that I was actually diabetic. He also told me that my uh, blood pressure was elevated and my cholesterol was elevated as well. And he got real frank with me at that point and kind of stared right in my eyes and he said, you know, you're lucky you came in now. He said, because with your levels and where you are right now and your, and your weight, he said, you're, you're months away from a massive heart attack. So Jeff's story is really a powerful story. It shows you how it's really more than just the cleaning at the dental office and how medical and dental can integrate to make a person healthier. After that visit with the doctor and discussing things with my family, um, I did make some pretty uh, strict lifestyle changes. Three things you should be doing for your oral health. Number one, meticulous home care, flossing, brushing. Number two, uh, regular dental visits every six months at least. And number three, just keep us updated on your medical and oral history if you changed any drugs or if you had any procedures. As a senior oral wellness consultant for United Concordia Dental, we build benefits like Smile for Health Wellness that was built for people that are highest risk, for people with certain chronic medical conditions. Because what we know from our research is that systemic body conditions that you have are impaired by oral health issues. When you have a problem in your mouth, it's harder for your body to fight those other conditions. So we've made a benefit that allows members to activate it, go to the dentist, not even think about the benefit, and have their claims paid at 100% for any type of periodontal treatment. Smile for Health Wellness is not available on your dental plan. Talk to your plan administrator. Tell them you want this type of benefit, and it's something they consider when they choose your benefits for the following year. The one thing that you want to make sure that people take away from Jeff's story is how important it is just to have routine dental care and along with medical care. Looking back on it, that initial visit to the dentist to, to get my teeth clean um, was very impactful. Um, you know, my dentist saved my life and I firmly believe that.